Where am I? That teleporter was a doozy. I know Pavo said he had something cool to show me, but man, I'm so dizzy. Oh, that was... That was... That was... <gasps> there's ghost! You guys! Oh my goodness, there's ghost overhead right now. Where are we? Oh, there's one right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Oh, there's a pumpkin. Oh, oh and there's another ghost. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that's a few spooks. Oh, I didn't even mean to make a pun there. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. <laughs> That's a few spooks to start the day, that's for sure. Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to zoo crafting. And we're not in the zoo right now. We are here in Halloween Town. This is a place that Pavo discovered, and it looks amazing. But I didn't know, even though the name kind of suggested otherwise, that it would be full of ghosts. And so here we are to celebrate the Halloween season, surrounded by ghosts. I really hope they're peaceful ghosts. Nobody's moaning, at least. The moaning is always what gets to me but it seems like they're peaceful and they're not doing anything to us right now oh my gosh and the teleporter here was such a bumpy ride i just i where's all my stuff i'm full of cop i have a little stuffed spider oh gosh he's so cute is he my companion on this adventure okay i think he's my companion on this little adventure and my my well i've got the sword of light so i guess if push comes to shove the sword of light is the best thing to have in case the the spooky spooks turn out to be not such a good thing oh my gosh oh, deep breaths oh my gosh look how beautiful this area is i mean beautiful in a decrepit rundown spider web ghost filled way but it, it's got a haunting beauty nonetheless right right okay we're gonna have to explore halloween town because it definitely is the season and so far it seems like the ghosts are pretty peaceful but hopefully they're not just peaceful because they're satisfied they have their latest sacrifice oh don't look at me like that i'm watching you i'm watching you their latest sacrifice here so deep breath siri all right so what do i have on me a pair of shears the sword of light my my famous sword that has heroically helped to save so many zombie villagers from absolute death over time uh pumpkin muffins cobwebs i don't need pockets full of cobwebs well maybe i do <gasps> maybe i should keep this i don't know i don't know oh now it's string okay i don't know maybe this will be useful here little spider you can like have the string as though you're making all of the cobwebs and we'll just keep this stuffed spider with us but all right guys Welcome to Halloween Town. We're going to have to start looking around now. Okay, it looks like even if I don't want to go to the ghosts, the ghosts are going to come to me. That's fine. That's fine. They seem like they're getting along. So we're just going to we're just going to come over here. <gasps> Look at that pumpkin. I love that pumpkin. That is the coolest giant pumpkin. I want a giant pumpkin like that inside of our uh garden for our autumn garden. Oh, it's really hard to start thinking about the zoo and autumn gardening in this place. But let's look around so this this is the beauty of Halloween Town. I have no idea what's inside of here. <gasps> I see flowers, though. I see flowers, and that pleases me greatly. Oh, my gosh. And look at this. The architecture here is taking my breath away. Look at this. This is gorgeous with these curved windows. Oh, my gosh. And it's night for sure here. Oh, my gosh. There's so many mice. <laughs> There's so many mice and rats. What are you guys all doing here? Are you, are you hanging out? Maybe I, I don't want to cause like a plague of rats to start chasing me. So maybe I shouldn't like get up close to them. <gasps> Look at this column. Oh my gosh, this town is so beautiful. What do I do here? How do I, is, do I need to do something? Oh my gosh. They've got like curtains all over the place. I can see there's houses. I, am I, am I supposed to look around a little bit? Is this a toy shop? This looks like a little toy shop. Oh my gosh, it's so charming. But what if, oh my gosh, I was about to say, what if the toys are cursed? And then I saw that Jack in the Box and I would definitely say that's a cursed Jack in the Box. This is so cool though. <gasps> is that me? You guys, I don't know if you want to ever find a doll of yourself inside a Halloween town. I'm pretty sure that's bad news bears. So we're going to have to investigate this. I think we're supposed to speak with somebody here. I, Pavo said that there should be someone very big and very important who we can meet with. Okay, deep breath. So far, even though I have goosebumps all over me right now, like a little plucked chicken, the ghosts don't seem to be doing anything. And I guess, I, I, I don't know. We'll look in the toy shop in a second. I kind of want to look in right now. Oh, is that a villager? <gasps> okay, we're going to look in it right now. Evan? Hi. 
Um, do you specialize in cursed toys? Just out of curiosity, that clock looks suspicious too. So does this cuckoo clock. Um, I mean, I don't want to insult you if like you're, you're not selling cursed items, but I'm just a little bit cautious, you know, um, a little bit nervous. So, uh, do, do you think we could, we could talk about this? Uh, how are you, Evan? He sells stuff. He sells stuff. Okay. I think he sells cursed jack-in-the-boxes and stuffed bunnies that probably like look innocent but aren't. Toy boats, stuffed spiders, and Halloween credits. Those look so cool. You guys, those look awesome. I love that. That's just the coolest looking thing. Evan, you should make cookies that look like your Halloween can or your Halloween credits. Oh my gosh, and I just noticed the shelves. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Okay, Evan, I'm getting a little overwhelmed. Um, I apologize. You've got an amazing store here, by the way. I have a sneaking suspicion all of your stuff is haunted. So I... Oh, it's a little stuffed spider again. <gasps> Are those leaf boots? I don't know. What if they're haunted leaf boots? Cursed leaf boots. Leaf boots with an evil history behind them. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's somebody over there. Okay, all right. Uh, sidestepping this. Oh my gosh. This is possibly one of the most beautiful things I have ever seen even though it is haunted and scary and I mean look at this fountain you guys this is amazing look at the way the the oh my gosh look away the water is pouring down from those hands and all of the sparkles that are coming up from this fountain Pavo I wonder if he dreamed all of this and and created it himself and okay then okay all right grim Standing next to a whole bunch of nooses. Okay. 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 And there's... Oh my gosh. I see more ghosts floating above him. Um... Um... Do I talk to the lady down there named Claire? Surrounded by... Oh no. They don't want me for my leaf boots, do they? Are they Are they going to like hunt me down and, and put up the trophies of my leaf boots and my leaf armor? At least I don't have the rest of my leaf armor. I just have cobwebs. Okay. Okay. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. Um, um, I'm kind of worried if I run from him, he's going to follow me. So let's just, let's just, hello. Oh my gosh. He hello. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Can maybe you just put the scythe a little bit further away from me while we talk. Okay. Actually, you know what? You're the one holding the scythe. I won't ask questions. We'll just roll with this. Why, hello, seriously. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Welcome to the 2016 Halloween Spectacular. Feel free to explore the town, if you're up to it, that is. I've heard a couple of residents may need your help with some things. I'm sure they will reward you greatly. Okay, uh, carry, carry on, sir. Like I said, you're the one with the giant scythe. All right. Excellent. Well, there are five tasks to be completed. They'll each reward you individually, but come back at the end for a bonus reward. I don't know if I want a bonus reward from a man standing next to a bunch of hangman's nooses, but I will worry about that later. Just ask around town and I'm sure you'll figure it out. You can always ask me if you need some more help. Finally, don't be alarmed by some of our residents. Let's just say not all of them are 100% living. Okay. All right. You know, um, when in Rome, do as the Romans do as they say. And I'm going to, I, you know, be respectful of the fact that you have ghosts as some of your town residents. Um, yeah, you know, I have zombie villagers. I, 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 well, they're cured now, but you know what? We can definitely bond over that, Grim. I have zombie villagers as, as, uh, in Zombie Village. Maybe I shouldn't share my village name and location and the origin of my villagers with the Grim Reaper, but okay. Well, very, very nice to meet you, sir. I'll go see if I can help everybody, like, right away. I promise. I am, I am on this. I think I saw a gentleman. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, are those clams? Nice to see you, sir. Oh my gosh. You know what came to mind seeing these all of a sudden, though? It's that when a lot of biologists travel to foreign countries, they will actually find new discoveries of new types of animals never before entered into the long hallmark of history and like properly scientifically named and researched. Uh, when they're at markets, they'll actually go to meat markets or fish markets throughout the world and find entirely new species that don't have an official scientific name 
thing, even if they've been known for hundreds of years to the people of that area. And that's what I'm thinking about Roger. Maybe he knows, uh, I mean, I'm, I, you know, I'm a vegan, so it's a little interesting to walk in here, but I, I'm, I'm also a scientist and I want to see if I know all of these shrimp and maybe why would there be with the residents here who eats meat if these are all ghosts? I probably need to ask Roger who his clientele is just in case there's werewolves or other things. Maybe cow plants lurking in the alleyways. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's come in and see if, okay, there's a lot of knives. Uh, okay. Well, I got the, I got the sword of light, so we're good. All right. R Roger. Hello. Um, oh hi okay all right he does have some new things he does have some new things what did i just tell you guys when you travel to other countries you just might stumble on unexpected things inside of the meat markets he has pink starfish and medium fish and fishies and orange starfish you guys what if we could take some of these home and put them inside like if we can keep them alive somehow and get them all the way back home and put them inside of our our underwater asian river exhibit oh that would be so exciting they're they're kind of expensive for somebody who has zero credits okay very nice to meet you roger uh, too bad you can't tell me like hum, hum. <sighs> my accent is probably atrocious considering he's from nowhere near any of the villager villages that i am familiar with but hopefully he can tell me who eats that meat because i'm a little nervous it's a beautiful shop though i really have to admire this architecture is gorgeous it's it's very gorgeous i mean it never hurts to be gracious right so maybe that'll help grim feel better okay let's look around here oh my gosh those are little pink skulls look at this ghost i thought it was a squid i'm not gonna lie i was a little bit confused because my mind is always on biology and animals but it's a little ghost i thought it was a squid oh it's so cute and the little pumpkins oh this is precious we should decorate like this except the fact that it's actually almost halloween so maybe my autumn garden doesn't need this but uh, that's okay um i will savor every memory sir all right let's not oh there he is i knew there was a guy over here oh there's a I wonder if those are like cursed books or maybe books on spells. <gasps> that would be so cool. All of a sudden it feels like Hogwarts. <gasps> like being at the alley. Okay, that was a crocodile snap. If I am ever a biologist who knows her crocodile snaps, that was a crocodile snap. Excuse me, uh, sir, do you? Okay. Oh my. Maybe I don't want to speak with you, but we're here now. So let's commit to this. Seriously, seriously, can you help me? My cat, Blackwell, climbed up through the window up there. It's not my shop and the door is locked. I don't know what to do. Um, how can I help? Okay, I have a quest now. Find the cat. I've never had a quest in my entire life before. So, like this. So, this is really interesting and I'm kind of nervous. You'll help? Thank you. The front door is locked, so the only way in is through that window. There's a ladder there to help get you up. I myself, uh... I'd go myself, unfortunately, but as you can see, I have no hands. Please hurry. Blackwell might be in danger. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I've got this. I've got this. I mean, a cat in danger. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is both the coolest thing and the scariest thing I've ever done. <gasps> okay. Deep breaths. You're with me, little stuffed spider. You're my buddy. I'm just going to cling him to my chest and not panic about the blood stains. Blackwell! Blackwell! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Blackwell! Oh, I'm stuck in the spider webs. Oh, jeez, that startled me. Blackwell! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, okay, okay. All right, can I open the door? I think... Okay, I'll be back. Now I know how to open the door. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Blackwell! Blackwell! Okay, I'm coming, Blackwell! I don't have any safari nets or anything because it's been... Oh, Blackwell, what am I gonna do? Can I make it to you? I don't think one should ever try to... Okay, he's not looking this way now! Okay, Blackwell! Blackwell is sitting on a crate, terrified. You gently stroke him and pick him up. You should go talk to Leonard. Okay, Blackwell, I have got you. All right, we have Blackwell with us. All right, got him under my arm. Let's take him up. All right, Leonard, I've got your cat, Blackwell. Thank you so much for rescuing the cat. I don't have much, but here you go. Thank you. Okay. Holy moly days. Thank you, Leonard. <gasps> Halloween credit and raw fish and fish bones and candy. 
Thank you, Leonard. I'm so glad Blackwell is safe now. Okay, and there's so many ghosts. This is this is so cool. Um, wow. I'm gonna check out the bookstore because that's oh my gosh, look at how that's all blocked off. <gasps> I wonder what happened over there. I wonder what happened to the owners of that crocodile. That's why you shouldn't own crocodiles, you guys. Oh my gosh, that was the coolest thing ever. These are the best. Pavo's dreams must have created this. He must have worked so hard in his in his dreams. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. You guys. You guys. I can't even handle how amazing this is. Oh my gosh. This is the best thing ever. Okay. Oh my gosh, and he does sell things. Okay, I can have a normal book, book and quill, the train craft guide. Everything uh, contains everything you should know about train craft. A recipe book about who knows what, enchanted books. Look, you can get enchanted books. Oh my gosh, and the hoarder's bookshelf. I, I, I think we're gonna come and get a hoarder's bookshelf from here and put it up inside of our house, but I should probably save on to these. Uh, sir, I don't even know where the eyes begin on this one. Oh, there they are. But we should probably hold on to our stuff uh, in case I, I might need the credit for something in the future. So, all right, we managed to help Leonard. Well, that, that makes me feel really good, you guys. Um, are those plants? Those are plants. These are plants. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. This is so amazing. Look at this little alleyway. This is the best thing ever. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. It's a plant shop in Halloween Town. <gasps> With the... Uh, maybe a cousin of the Ice Queen? Hello, ma'am. Um, do you happen to have... <gasps> she has plants. Blood leaf, sesame seeds, orange tulip, red tulip seeds. Oh my gosh, sunflower bouquet, rose bouquet, peony bouquet, lilac bouquet, shears, collier shears. You guys, I have to get... We're gonna get... Let's get a lilac bouquet from Halloween Town. What do you guys think? Or maybe a red rose bouquet? Um, I think a lilac bouquet for sure. Oh my gosh, Thank you, ma'am. Um, thank you. I'm just going to... <gasps> it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Forever and ever now, I will remember coming to your beautiful flower shop, surrounded by ghosts, and yourself, ma'am. Maybe an icy snow queen. Inya. Inya, the icy snow queen. Thank you. Thank you very much. I won't, I won't bother you any further, but I will adore this. I, I promise you. Good memories. Good memories. You can even, even surrounded by ghosts and ghoulies and, and tiny adorable little mice running all over the place and alleyways. Wow. At least you got plants. All right. Well, you guys, we're going to have to continue moving forward and seeing if we can find the other four townsfolk who apparently need our help in this. Oh, these houses are so beautiful. And we'll have to see, deep breath, turning around and seeing a ghost is normal here. And we'll have to see what else Pavo's amazing imagination has brought to life. So I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.